Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in um, York and today I wanted to talk to you about AF, atrial fibrillation, and particularly the uh, importance of lifestyle management in atrial fibrillation. Um, <clears throat> in particular, I wanted to talk to you about a study that was done which was really remarkable, uh, which dealt with the issue of weight loss and how weight loss can be very beneficial in people with atrial fibrillation. So this study was published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology. It was published in May 2015. The lead author is Patak, P-A-T-H-A-K, and it was known as the Legacy Study, okay? And basically the study was called a long -term, the long-term effects of goal-directed uh, weight management in a cohort of patients with atrial fibrillation and so basically what they these guys did is that they took uh, 355 patients with atrial fibrillation symptomatic atrial fibrillation and they put them through a weight management program and these people had a BMI of 20 more than 27 so body mass index of greater than 27 were put into a weight loss program and then they compared uh, the outcomes in terms of atrial fibrillation in those people who had lost more than 10% of weight, uh, their body weight through the weight management program. Uh, <clears throat> who, um, uh, and then th they compared them to two other groups, those who had lost less than 3% of their weight and those who had lost between 3 and 9%. So three groups people who'd lost less than 3%, people who'd lost between 3 to 9%, and people who'd lost more than 10%. And what they wanted to know was a variety of different things. A, how did these people feel? B, did they get less atrial fibrillation as a consequence of weight loss? And uh, the results were very interesting in that it fa they found lots of really interesting things. The first thing is that those people who did lost more than 10% of body weight did best of all uh, compared to the people who lost uh, less than 3% or uh, 3 to 9%. Uh, first thing, uh, these people uh, found that their blood pressure dropped. So the average drop in blood pressure in those people who'd lost more than 10% of body weight uh, was 18 millimeters of mercury, systolic blood pressure, okay, compared to uh, only about 7 millimeters of mercury in those people who'd lost less than 3%. Uh, their blood sugars improved, so their glycemic control improved when they lost weight, and particularly the people who'd lost the most weight. Uh, their inflammatory markers got less, so high sensitivity CRP is a, a blood test that you can do to check the levels of inflammation in the body, and that got significantly less as people lost weight. Uh, what is really interesting is uh, no doubt that these people uh, certainly had a six-fold um, increased chance of not having atrial fibrillation in uh, subsequent uh, during the time of their follow-up in the study so uh, the people who'd lost the most weight were six times uh, more likely not to have a recurrence of their atrial fibrillation uh, what is also really interesting is their quality of life improved uh, it was also really interesting that actually when you studied their heart uh, these people um, you know people who have atrial fibrillation uh, have can have big atria and often it is thought that the big atria make the atri makes the atrial fibrillation less likely to treat but with weight loss the atria size started getting less and uh, left ventricular hypertrophy which means the muscularity of the walls of the heart gets less because the heart has to work less hard if you lose the weight. So this was an incredible study because it showed that actually weight loss can achieve so much. It can improve quality of life, it can reduce AF, uh, it reduces blood pressure, it reduces inflammation, it reduces um, it, uh, you know, blood sugar, it, it uh, uh, improves blood sugar control, it reduces left atrial dimensions, which is a good thing, it reduces increased muscularity of the heart, which suggests the heart has to work less hard. So incredibly, incredibly powerful data. And again, 
um, to those of us who suffer from atrial fibrillation who carry extra weight I think one of the best things you can do is to try and lose the weight and that should be done through a combination of diet good sleep stress management and exercise but if you can uh, the truth is that uh, the AF will get better but our overall quality of life gets better and our overall health gets better so I hope you found this useful uh, please consider visiting my website which is uh, www.drsenjaygupta.com com. I now have a WhatsApp broadcast list and I'm putting out um, sort of new videos on WhatsApp as well and those are kind of uh, they're only on WhatsApp so if you wanted me to add you to the WhatsApp broadcast list uh, please let me know uh, send me an email on yourcardiology at gmail.com uh, I'd love to know what you think about it. Has atrial fibrillation, has your atrial fibrillation responded to weight loss? Uh, and uh, I would love to hear your comments. And I'm, as always, incredibly grateful uh, for all the kindness that you show me. Uh, thank you so much and have a great night. I'm currently in London. I've actually come to attend a, a press conference about the role of acupuncture in atrial fibrillation. So I'll keep you updated uh, about that. But uh, thank you so much for watching. All the best. Uh.